while autumn and winter dance their last slow dance before winter finally casts its midnight blue cloak over the skies and covers the ground in a white sparkling dress. Daylight is sparse and days tend to be short, muddy and grey. The world looks bare and washed out, with neither the bright colors of autumn nor the glistening white snow blankets of winter. So we retreat to our homes, seeking for comforting shelter to cozy up in, while outside cold winds are chasing the fallen leaves through empty streets. But being confined to our homes for a prolonged time can sometimes make us realize that the atmosphere and energy there could do with some love and light. This energy might lie in the relationship of the household members to each other, the state of the home itself, or simply in our own minds, moods and how we see our living environment. So today I would like to share a cottage witch spell for positive energy with you to bring more love, peace, tranquility and positivity into your home, household and relationships with your family members or flatmates. An enchanted object to give your home that bit of energetic hygge. As always, this is just an inspiration and you can adjust any of the steps in this video. Make it more elaborate or really simplify it and only take the essence. If you, for example, don't enjoy arts and crafts, which will be part of my personal spell for harmony. This spell combines candle magic with sigil magic, magical crafting and has an additional element of green witchcraft in it. And what you will get out of it is a wonderful decorative lantern that will fuel your home with magical blessings. If you want to follow my inspiration, you will need the following items. A piece of cardboard, some construction paper in the color of your choice, scissors, a glue stick or tape, a ruler, tracing paper, a candle with a color of your choice, and an anointing oil of your choice fitting with your intention or goal. First, we are going to craft a little lantern shaped like a house. You can get really creative here, fashion it after your own home or a whimsical imaginatory dream house, a cute little witch's cottage or just keep it simple with a generic house or apartment block building. Now we will look into how I constructed my lantern that we will then enchant and infuse with our intention for a happy peaceful home. First we will need a sturdy base for the house, best some kind of cardboard cut out from a pizza box or parcel. We want to cut it into our desired shape and can then chess it up by covering it with colorful paper. Then we can move on to constructing the walls of the little lantern out of construction paper. When choosing a paper color, you can match it to how your home looks or you can choose to work with color magic and select a color that represents peace, love, tranquility, happiness or any other aspect you want to focus your spell on to bring that positive energy. When cutting out the outlines of the house, make sure you have some extra space on all sides so you can fold them over and connect them to the other walls as well as to the base of the house. To cut out windows or doors, I find it easiest to punch them out by tracing the outlines with a needle, but little nail scissors should work as well. After you have everything cut out, you want to grab some tracing paper and stick it behind the windows on the inside of the lantern, so the lantern can shine a warm and inviting light later on. Now before assembling this lantern we will take a mindful moment to really think about what is lacking from the energy in our house. And especially what we personally could bring in to make it a more pleasant atmosphere. If you like, you can invite members of your household for this part of the spell. 
even if they are not into witchcraft themselves, this could be a wonderful moment to work on household harmony together. Think of things that can actively be done either to the home itself, to yourself or towards others in your household. Examples for this might be to be kinder to yourself and take more self-care moments in order to be more relaxed and less anxious. Or to try and be more patient and understanding with your kids. Or to remember to compliment your partner actively once a day. Or to do a quick cleanup of your home every evening before going to bed to wake up to a tranquil and clean environment. If you do this with members of your household, everybody can think of what they personally can contribute to an overall loving, calm, hygge environment with positive energy. Then you can take those sentences and either transform them into sigils or just pick a word that stands for the intention behind the idea. These words or sigils can now be written onto the base of the house in all four corners. After we have inscribed the base, we can now glue on all walls of the house, making sure they are well connected to each other as well as the base. To bring lightness and brightness into our home, literally and figuratively speaking, we now need a candle. You can choose only one or one for each member of your household, or even one for each element or feeling you want to bring into your home. I am choosing four pink candles based on the people and pets living in my home and the wish to nurture the loving bond between all of us. Pink is commonly associated with love, friendship and kindness. If you would like to add an element of green witch magic to this spell, you can anoint the candle with a special magical oil. Anointing oil is basically a herb and intention infused oil that you can use to fuel your spell with some extra magic. I have made this dedicated harmony and happiness oil during the summer and like to use it to anoint candles, myself in magical self-care rituals and occasionally even in food when working some kitchen witch magic. It contains rose and hibiscus flower to invite in love, frankincense to bring bright blessings into the home and dried lemon peel for joy and happiness. If you want to make this yourself, you just need a clean container with lid. Choose any oil as a base and then add the dried herbs and raisins in. While preparing it, keep in mind what exactly this oil is supposed to bring in. Then let it infuse for a couple of weeks, keeping the oil in a dark place. And once it is done, strain it through a cheesecloth and bottle. To anoint the candle, keep your intention present in your mind awaken the feeling and energies that you want to invite into your home and then take a drop of the oil and rub it onto the candle in circular motions. Now you can light your magical lantern when gathered inside on a grey and rainy day or in situations when you feel some extra calm, love, tranquility or harmony is needed. It could also make a cute, magical table decoration for when you have larger family gatherings over the holidays, where the potential for disharmony or arguments might be enhanced. As always, when working with fire, make sure you don't let the lantern burn unsupervised to avoid accidents. I do hope you enjoyed this cottage witch spell for Witchy Higge, positive energies and harmony and joy in your home and I will see you later on this week with a video reacting to Kelly and Maddox happy witch tag. I wish you a cozy day. See you soon!